Hello everyone and welcome to my workshop. Today I'm going to be building an industrial style bar cart using reclaimed redwood and 5 8 inch steel square tubing. Now let's get started. This bar cart is going to have three levels, so I'm going to start out here by cutting the tubing for each rectangular platform. I don't have a cutoff saw, so I'm just going to use an angle grinder for this. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it seemed to work out okay. Here I am just cleaning up the edges and getting ready for some welds. I set up my first rectangle and check if it's square. Everything looks good, so I tack the joints and check again to see if it's square. Once everything checks out, I finish the welds. Now time to start cutting the side tubing and start tacking everything together. Now I'm very new to welding. I've only been welding for about six weeks or so, so I have no idea if this is the correct way to do things. I'm sure people might blow me up in, in comments that I'm doing everything wrong but everything seemed to work out okay, minus just a couple of minor flaws. Everything worked out as planned, I'm using the AHP TIG 200, and so far I love this machine. It handles everything that I've put it through so far. Um, I do have to admit I've never worked with anything else, so it's the only thing I know, and uh, so far so good. I would recommend it. Now on to the rebar wine rack. I started out by making a template and laying my rebar on top to make sure everything's accurate. This rack is going to be able to hold nine wine bottles, and it will be placed on the middle platform. Now I just got to test it out and make sure everything works. I ordered some 2 inch poly wheels off Amazon for around 10 bucks. Uh, I'm simply welding them to the frame um, and everything looks good. The metal work at this point is pretty much finished. I'm using a generic flat black paint and some clear coat to cover and protect the cart. Onto the tabletops. I found some old redwood fencing here that I'm gonna be ripping into three equal sections.
got to get all my measurements as exact as I can so that they fit into the steel perfectly. Everything seems to look good, so I'm starting to glue them in and uh, clamp everything together. Once everything is nice and secure, I take my orbital sander and gently sand the surface. Now here, I want to just make sure to not sand too much so that I can leave some dark and worn spots to create that rustic look that I'm going for. Here I'm using a Duracoat Quick Stain. Uh, the, the color is actually natural. Um, it can be picked up at any hardware store, pretty much anywhere. Once everything is stained, I decided I wanted more support on the platform, so I cut some half inch by a fourth inch mild steel to attach to the underside. So it can definitely hold uh, some heavier bottles on top. Once that was complete, I chiseled out the grooves for the steel that would hold the wood on the platform. I needed these about a fourth inch deep so that the wood would sit flush on top of the metal. This is actually my very first time ever using chisels and I was very happy with how they performed and didn't have any problems with it. Now it's time for my last check to make sure everything fits nice and snug. Everything looks good, so now it's time to finish the wood. I'm using a semi-gloss protective coating made by Fabulon. Uh, I think you can pick this up at any local hardware store. Um, all in all, I ended up doing about three coats to finish this. The only thing left to do now is secure the panels to the platform and set up the wine rack. Overall, I'm happy with how this turned out and I'm excited to do some more projects like this. Tell me what you think in the comments and let me know what you want to see me build next. Thanks for watching.